Hey guys, um, today we're going to be um, learning something new and we're going to be creating a game, a guessing game. Alright, so the game is going to work like this. We're going to generate a random number from 1 to, Z, 1 to 10 and then we're going to have the user input a particular number. Now, if the user guesses the number right, well, well we're going to give him a thousand US dollars. I mean, programming thousand US dollars now, not real, thousand, not real money now. Okay, so in doing this, we have to learn two new concepts. Um, we've actually used one of the concepts in one of our previous videos to receive um, value from the um, user, but I didn't really teach that. I didn't explain on, explain that much. And then the second concept we're going to be learning is how to develop, um, how to generate random numbers. All right, so let's jump straight into it. So what have I done previously before starting this tutorial? Okay, I created a new Java class file called guessinggame.java. And then I have my public static main, of course, my main um, method. All right, so previously what we've been doing is initializing the value of a variable ourselves like this, okay? But what we want to do now is we want to receive the value of number one from the user. We want the user to impute the value, him or herself, okay? So what we do is we need a scanner, a scanner object. All right, so the the how the syntax is scanner. All right, then the name of the, your scanner. Um, you can call this anything. Mustn't be scanner. You can call it my scanner. All right, it's equals to new scanner. Okay, new scanner. And then the source is system dot in. Okay system dot in like this so in order to receive value from the user for a particular variable we would say that number one is equals to now the name of your scanner dot okay then next int now this depends on what you are expecting is it an integer value is it a double is it um, a string but for now we're going to be looking at just next int all right so when you accept this like this then we let let's display it then you can display it. that way you have accepted value from the variable then we can say plus all right number one okay so let me just um, give you a display message so that the user would know system dot out dot print line enter any number okay so i would run this all right so this is not where we're going to actually it's just for us to understand so that when we begin to write the guessing game we can all follow all right it will soon be downloading now okay All right, enter any number. So I would enter six. All right, there you go. You entered six. All right, so that is that about receiving um, variables or receiving value for variables from the scanner. All right, so another thing I want to teach you guys is how to create random numbers. That out. We're going to be needing it later in our guessing game. Um, in order for you to create random numbers, you need at least a random random um, class object so random random and again you can call this anything my random is equals to a new random class okay nothing in the in the box right now so what you do is say um, number one number one will now hold the random variable and I say my random dot next int okay so this bound now is if you just impute just one number that means you are telling it that this bound should be from zero true or six numbers from zero through six okay so let, let's see what that gives us i'll just copy this all right and put it here okay so this is one number Java application. 
okay so the generated number is two but then i want to show you guys something so let me use a for loop okay i will just generate um 10 random numbers and counter is equals to zero counter is less than or equals to equals to 10 i wouldn't have to explain this because i already have a tutorial on this so if you don't understand please go i'll put the link below so you can see my tutorial video so i'll comment this out all right okay counter ter okay so um i've changed this to counter and then um, let's run okay okay there you go um well all right okay so this is supposed to be here so that i can generate it okay so i'll run that again all right so there we go two zero zero five zero four one two zero but now the problem is we don't want it to display zero okay because um the game is going to work the user is going to have to guess from one to six and not from zero to five all right so in order for us to get this to get from two to six all we'll do here is just do one plus okay so how does this work so if the generated number is zero it's going to add one to it okay so it's going to gen instead of displaying zero to display one and then if it is five well it's just going to add one to it so automatically this is how you generate a random number from zero to six from one to six i beg your pardon so running it again okay so there you go there's one and there's six but there are no zeros all right so with this now we can then since we have learned these two new concepts we can then have our guessing game okay so how is the guessing game going to work you ask the guessing game is going to work that we're going to generate a random number we're going to generate um random numbers we're going to have the user guess the random number and if the user guesses the random number well the user has won the game okay so i'm going to comment all this out and then we're going to be just copying and pasting the code as we see fit okay so today we're going to be using a particular loop and if you've not learned uh, if you if you don't know my if you've not um if you don't know much about loop i'll drop in the do while loop i remember i told you that the do while loop you would have to um you would have to uh, the loop will be executed first before the condition is checked now okay so we're going to have it like this what we're going to do is um, we're going to have our integer value so we're going to be receiving it from this and then we're going to have another integer value called random number okay so as you guess first we're going to generate the random number so we're going to say random number is equals to so i will uncomment this i'll move it here all right so random number is equals to i'll pick this one okay and I'll put it here all right so random number is equals to number one is equals to okay is equals to one plus my random number dot next in six all right so we then want to tell the user system dot out okay dot print clean guess my random number to win one thousand US dollars. Okay. So then therefore we would have to use a scanner object. Alright. So the scanner is there. Then we're gonna accept this and then we're gonna say the number is equal to my scanner dot next is therefore we're going to check now if like this if number one is equals to okay random number to 
equals random number then system dot out dot print line congratulations you won a thousand bucks okay but if it is not equals to that we're going to say else system dot out dot print line okay we're going to say my random number was plus random number okay so if the user misses it we want to show the user what the random number is all right and then uh, to guess okay and i then want to say at least i want to give the user a way of exit if the user doesn't want to play anymore then enter zero to quit the game okay so enter zero to quit the game so this will only continue while number one not equals to what zero so immediately number one is equals to zero automatically this game would stop okay so i would remove this comment all right so immediately number one that's like the key out okay so let's run this and see if our game is ready to run all right see so my random guess my random number to win a thousand bucks i'll guess five. Ooh, say my random number was two guess my random number to win i would guess um uh, say six oh again my random number was four um let me see i would guess um three congratulations you won a thousand bucks yes i did get it and then you know that's all okay my random number was one it's still continuing all right so let's see if i enter zero my random number was five all right let's see where did we get it all wrong um random number is equals to one if this is equals to this else congratulations you want this oh then break you have to break right here once the user gets the correct number we want to break and then what i want displayed is system dot out dot print plane so we know game over okay so let's run that again okay so i press zero my random number was six game over okay so it works now but then let's try and see if we can get if we can guess it um two random number was four four again my random number was one um five congratulations you won a thousand bucks game over all right so we've seen it we've seen how the random number can work um we can also do this and then enable that the player can only play five times okay enable the player can only play five times so in order to do that let's just quickly do that we're going to have another integer variable called counter okay and then we're going to initialize counter as five if the user gets it then that's fine but if the user doesn't we're going to do counter minus minus so while just continue while number is not equals to zero and so these two conditions must be true if you don't know what i'm doing then you have to see my um conditional operators then counter is greater than zero okay so let's see my random number was this then you add you have counter more chances okay so let's do this 
so we're going to run as all right let's go let's go okay um four okay so i won straight i won wow i won but then let's run that again i want us to see that the user can play only five times one say my random number was six you have four more chances um one again oh i won again but i actually want to show you guys the counter okay one my random number was two i have five more chances two all right you have four more chances one again i have three more chances two again i have two more chances one my random number was three you have one more chances game over okay because the value of of um counter you have two more chances okay this should have been um it's greater than minus one okay so let's run that again one I'll run again two one I have four more chances three more chances two more chances one more chance my random number was six you have zero more chances game over all right now it works um, you can uh, you can um, get this to work better you can develop more games from this I hope you learned. I'm sorry that the video is lengthy. I just had to teach this. Alright, thank you. Keep watching and do come back and God bless.